Hey, a lot of shops have authorized.net already. I want to show you how we just enabled recurring invoicing and it can automatically charge your customers on their credit card. So recurring credit card billing, it's ready to go. It's in production already. You just enable authorize.net and then you'll get a setting down here for authorize.net login and password. This is your API key. So get those both entered and updated and you should be ready to go. So now on the invoice payment forms you'll have a credit card option. It switches you over to SSL. You can select credit card and there's an option to keep the credit card on file. We do not store this at Repair Shopper. This saves it to your authorized.net account. We store a token so that we can use it in the future. So if you so choose, when you run someone's credit card, you can keep it on file and you can use it for future payments for that customer. Let's say you've done that and you've got an invoice for a customer maybe this one that you want to charge to this person every single month so you just head over to the admin section recurring invoices to a new schedule give it a name let's say monthly invoice number was 1311 let's start this on the first of um, let's do it on the 31st. We're going to auto charge the credit card on file. We're going to email them a, PO, a PDF. And you can optionally mail a physical invoice. This will, it'll charge you a stamp. You can buy stamps in our uh, add on section. This will mail a physical invoice to the customer using USPS. This is for USA accounts only. There you go, that's it. If the credit card on file fails, you'll get a notification right up in here. You'll also get an email. It'll create an invoice right in here like you would expect. When you go to the customer screen, you'll see the invoice and the payment here. You'll also see stored credit cards pop in once you've got some stored credit cards. That's how it's working today. Let me know if you play with it and need it to do something else. I hope you enjoy it.